Hey everybody and welcome back to the ACC football schedule ranking. I did the Big Ten two weeks ago in individual videos. I did the SEC last week all in one video and I'm going to keep the same format here for the ACC and we're just going to start off with number one, Georgia Tech. They were three and nine last year, two and six in conference and all their opponents' wins, all their opponents this season, their wins add up to 87. And that's how I determine the strength of schedule here, including non-conference teams. Uh, their 10-win opponents that they have this year, they that won 10 games from last year, are Clemson, Miss, at Pitt, and at Georgia. Um uh, it's 87 is a good number. It stacks up with the upper echelon of the Big Ten and uh, just a little bit under the SEC. Uh, there's five pretty good schedules here uh, in the ACC, and uh, you'll see them right off the bat. But Georgia Tech has Clemson at home, Western Carolina, Ole Miss at UCF, at Pitt, Duke at home, Virginia at home, at Florida State, at Virginia Tech, Miami at home, at North Carolina, and they finish at Georgia. So there is the hardest schedule, uh, according to this, in the ACC. And as we move on, we're going to go to Syracuse. Syracuse went 5-7 and seven last year, 2-6 and six in the ACC. Their opponents' wins add up to 85. They're at Clemson, Notre Dame, at Pitt, at Wake Forest. Uh, that determines the tiebreaker with the next team. Three road games versus 10 win opponents. Their schedule is Louisville at Connecticut, Purdue at home, Virginia at home, Wagner, North Carolina State, at Clemson, Notre Dame, at Pitt, Florida State, at Wake Forest at Boston College. Oh, wow, what a tough stretch there towards the end of the, the schedule. And Syracuse comes in at number two. And they are tied with North Carolina. North Carolina is at 85 wins. They were 6-7 and seven last year, 3-5 and five in the Big Ten. Their opponents' wins add up to 85, which ties. And they have the same amount of 10-win opponents from last year, but... Uh, Syracuse had more road games in those. Uh, so Florida A&M is who North Carolina opens with. They're at Appalachian State and at Georgia State. Wow, um, some ballsy scheduling there. I don't think I've ever seen uh, something like that from a Power 5 team here, any, any recently anyway. Then they have North, uh, Notre Dame at home, Virginia Tech at home, at Miami, at Duke, Pitt at home, at Virginia, at Wake Forest, Georgia Tech, and NC State. Number four is Louisville. And Louisville was six and seven last year as well. And four and four in the league. Their opponents' wins add up to 84. They have Pitt, Wake Forest, Clemson, and Kentucky both on the road. Uh, they start at Syracuse, at UCF, Florida State, and USF. Three Florida schools in a row there. That's pretty interesting. At Boston College, at Virginia. Pitt at home, Wake Forest at home. James Madison, at Clemson, uh, NC State, and at their rival out of the SEC, Kentucky. That's the fourth toughest schedule in the ACC, and the last really good schedule in the ACC belongs to Florida State. Um, five and seven last year, four and four, 82. And this will be the last team that I that I call out the 10 win opponents. Uh, you can see them, but Wake Forest, Clemson, and Louisiana. Remember them? They went 13 and one last year. Uh, Duquesne at home versus LSU neutral site at Louisville, Boston College, Wake Forest at NC State. Clemson, Georgia Tech, at Miami, at Syracuse, ULL, and Florida. And like I said, 
big drop off here from 82 to a 73 rating is Clemson at number six. They were 10 and three, six and two last year. They are at Georgia Tech, Furman at home, Louisiana Tech at Wake Forest, NC State at Boston College, at Florida State, Syracuse at home, at Notre Dame, Louisville, Miami, and South Carolina all at home to end the season. Boston College comes in at number seven. And they have Rutgers at home at Virginia Tech, Maine at Florida State, Louisville, Clemson, at Wake Forest, at Connecticut, Duke, NC State, at Notre Dame, and Syracuse. Okay. And number eight comes in with Virginia Tech. And Virginia Tech is at Old Dominion. They have Boston College, Wofford, and West Virginia all at home. At North Carolina, at Pitt, Miami at home, at NC State, Georgia Tech, at Duke, at Liberty, and Virginia. So there is number eight. Number nine, NC State. Um, they have at Eastern East Carolina, Charleston Southern, Texas Tech, uh, Connecticut, all at home, at Clemson, Florida State, at Syracuse, Virginia Tech, Wake Forest, Boston College, at Louisville, and at North Carolina. And here's where uh, we start seeing uh, the number six in front here. And I just got to tell you, the Big Ten only had two teams in the 60s, and the SEC had none. Uh, the ACC has five. Uh, pretty, pretty, really uh, weak schedules here. And Virginia is the first one of those at number 10. Richmond at home at Illinois. Old Dominion at Syracuse at Duke. Louisville, at Georgia Tech, Miami, North Carolina, Pittsburgh, Coastal Carolina, who remember went 11 and 2 last year, at Virginia Tech is who they finish up with, their rivals. So, Wake Forest is next, and we're going to start seeing the better teams here. And the ACC now have some of the easier schedules. Uh, just like we've seen some in, in both conferences before. It's weird how that works out, but uh, they start with VMI at Vanderbilt, Liberty at home, Clemson at home, at Florida State, Army, Boston College, at Louisville, at NC State, North Carolina, Syracuse, and they finish at Duke. And Miami uh, comes in. They were seven and five last year, five and three. They have a 68. Uh, they have B, uh, Bethune Cookman, I think, or um, something like that. Southern Miss at Texas A&M. There's probably one of the better uh, non-conference games of the ACC. Someone had Ole Miss too. Um, Middle Tennessee, U, uh, North Carolina at Virginia Tech, Duke. At Virginia, Florida State, at Georgia Tech, at Clemson, and Pittsburgh. And, of course, Georgia Tech had uh, Georgia. Another good non-conference game for the ACC. Pittsburgh comes in at number 13, second to last. They won the ACC last season. They have West Virginia at home, Tennessee at home, at Western Michigan, uh, Rhode, who beat them last year, uh, Rhode Island at home, Georgia Tech at home, and Virginia Tech at home. At Louisville, they are at North Carolina, Syracuse at home, at Virginia, Duke, and at Miami. And <laughs> Duke uh, comes in with the easiest schedule, much needed, because they were 3-9 and nine last year and 0-8 oh, and in conference play. Um, 
They have Temple at home. They are at Northwestern. Uh, North Carolina A&T at Kansas. They have Virginia at Georgia Tech. North Carolina at Miami at Boston College. Virginia Tech. And they finish with their two toughest games at Pitt and Wake Forest at home. Now, I realize that some of these teams are going to be better than they were, or some will be worse than they were. This is just results off of last season going into this ranking. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, take advantage of your schedule, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.